Hello, this is uh, Constructor 101, Torque Game Engine Demo Introduction Part 2. Um, okay, in the last one we talked about how we set up the, our file to put our mission in, and we also um, learned how to save our files. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and get our file, and I'm going to show you how to place some models and a couple other neat little things that'll get you going as far as having a place to put your actual models into the game engine. So what we're going to do now, instead of going through the interactive walkthrough, all you need to do from the initial startup screen like this is hit F11. Now that's going to open up a new mission. This new mission is uh, the default new mission. It's not your mission. So when this is finished loading, what we'll actually have to do is open our mission that we created. Remember we created a mission with our name on it. So waiting for this to load. Okay, so it's loaded up. Now what I want to do is I want to go to File, Open Mission, Demo, Data, Missions. There's my mission, John Spivey.miss. Okay, we're going to load that mission up. And now we're in on that. Now we're going to go to the third person camera by hitting Tab so we can see the orc and we're going to run down here a little bit. Now, a nice function is that you don't always have to run around with your orc here. If you hit Alt C, you actually switch to the camera, and it's a flying camera. So more or less, you just fly around with the camera. This is an invaluable tool when it comes time to actually looking at your levels, getting the composition and everything set up the way you want it to be set up. Very important feature. Now, another way to do that is you go up here to the camera option. I can actually drop the camera at the player. See, I'm right there at the player now. Or I can toggle the camera. Now, see here where it says Alt-C? That's the same feature as before. If we just hit Alt-C, then we'll just switch the camera back to the third-person perspective. Now, we can also drop the player of the camera. So if we do that now, like say I fly away out here and I want to drop the player of the camera, I'll do that just like this. comes in real handy when you're flying around with the camera and you want to see if your player can run through the doors or if it's any, if, if he can actually pass through the things you built. So what we're going to do is going to go to all camera come out here now. This is where we do what it is we're going to do with the models. We're going to actually be placing a model. So what we need to do is we need to go up to the Window tab right up here at the top and hit that. Now there are several options. World Editor, Editor Inspector, World Editor Creator, Mission Area Editor, some terrain features down here that we're not going to get too much into. I'll show you a couple quick things, but we're not really going to get into that. Okay, we want to go to World Editor Creator. Creator is like we're creating the world, so that's a good way to remember it. Now from this point, we're going to go to Interiors. Now you see interiors, shapes, static shapes, and mission objects. The only one we need to be concerned with is interiors. We're going to go ahead and open that up, and there it'll show a directory. Now this directory will tie into the directory structure that we'll go over here in a little bit in another lesson. So we go to demo, data, interiors again. Now here's our models. We have a tower, we have a room, we have a mirror, dock, and a cottage. Now what we're going to do is just we're going to do the tower. We're going to open up the tower. Now there's the tower folder inside is the tower model. So what we need to do is we hit tower and there there we have a tower. Now this is the tower that's that came standard with the demo. Now if you see I grabbed a hold of this little um, blue thing here. Actually what this thing is with the blue, the red, and the green, that's called the gizmo. What that is is a way to manipulate the models in the environment on specific axes. Now I can also grab a hold of the model and move it around like so and move it around on the X and Y axes. I can't do it on the Z axis, but I can do it on the X and Y with this. And it's, it's just nice if it's like, it's a way over here and you want to move it up closer real quick like. So you, what we're going to do is we're going to move it up now. What's important to realize is like with the tower, there's an entrance there. Now see there, see that white? That is actually where the terrain is poking through. So what I'm going to want to do is actually move this to a place where the terrain's not showing. So there, now the terrain's not showing through the bottom, there's the tower, and all is well with the world. Now, after that, there's another thing we need to do, especially when you're placing models, because you want to see how it looks and how the light's hitting and everything like that. You're going to see a little box that pops up down here. It says a light mapped object has been altered. Relight the scene. Well, we're going to go ahead and relight the scene. So you click this box here called Relight the Scene click that. Now it's running its little mathematic algorithms and things like that to figure out 
how the sun's going to hit. And there's the sun. Um, you see where the sun's striking the surface here, but if we come around in the back, well, it's dark. It's shadowed. But it's lit right up here in the front where the sun is hitting it. Okay, so now let's switch to our camera. Well, looks like we put our orc right in underneath it. Okay, so we're, we're with our orc. Let's go ahead and hit F11 so we're looking at it like it would be in gameplay. And there's our tower. Now I can hit tab again to go to first person so we can get a good look at it. Yep, it's a pretty big tower. Pretty neat. And then we run inside. Now the reason it's dark in here is for uh, a thing called a portal. We'll cover that later on. That's a little bit uh, of an intermediate thing that we'll cover later on uh, in the future weeks. But for now, this is pretty much how you place the model. Now, some other little interesting things you can do. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the camera mode again and fly up high here so I can see a lot of things going on. I'm going to go ahead and hit F11 to get back into my editor. Now, you know, this is the default terrain textures that they've applied. We can change that. Okay, all we need to do is go to Window, Terrain Texture Painter. Okay, you're going to go right there. Now, you're going to have six possible textures you could use on this terrain. But we're only going to change the ones that are here now because, um, you know, we're not really making a Torque Game Engine demo lesson here. This is more about Constructor, and we just want to knock this out. So, and it's a neat little feature to do. So what we're going to do is going to change this. Now, all of your art contents are going to be in the demo directory. And more specifically, it's going to go demo to data. Data will make, will, the data folders will contain all art assets. As assets excuse me I can't talk for some reason now we're looking for textures well on the terrain function down here this little terrain folder well let's go ahead and open that up well it's got um, high planes okay there is where all the terrain textures are so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select like grass and then we'll change this one to uh, patchy and then we'll change this one to farmland all right, now we are actually starting to look like something here. I mean, it looks like a uh, tower out in the middle of a grassy plain uh, with some hills all around it. Now we're really starting to get something that looks like what you've seen in video games. Okay, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and save the file, save mission. We've been shown how to do that in the first lesson, so that shouldn't be too difficult. And one other quick thing I'm going to go over. If you go to window here and go to terrain terraform editor okay it's going to give you this this is a little brush here you can actually alter the brush and the size with this menu here this little picture you're seeing right here that is what is called a height map okay that's what gener tells generates the terrain for the engine uh, that's not definitely not part of this uh, mission it's more of an intermediate skill type thing you need to do but what we're going to do here with our little brush we've got is we're going to try to flatten out this terrain some so if we go to action and we hit flatten, all we do is right click and move the mouse around and see how it flattens out the terrain. The reason this is a good function is because right now you just want to you're just gonna want some nice flat terrain to put your models on. Uh, accommodating the hills and everything like that is 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 tedious and you really have to build your models for that. So we flatten it out a little bit and there you go we've got a nice little flat place so if we put any other models in here we can do such now for your one of your assignments for the week will be to familiarize yourself quite as best as you can with the torque game engine demo I, what i want you to do is actually take a bunch of the models because there are several remember we go to the creator here interiors demo data interiors there's a there, there's a room model which is a great hall and a cottage and a dock. Um, use these models to, you know, build a little something in here. Place a few buildings. I'd like to see three or four different buildings placed in in your little world here. And then save the mission. Take a few screenshots, and I'll be uh, uh, expecting you to email those to me. So we're going to go ahead and save the mission. And for placing of the models and in the introduction to the constructor or the Tor game engine demo, uh, we're pretty much done. That's about all I'm really going to cover with the the actual demo itself. It's only really a tool so that we can look at what we've 
made and see how it looks with the light hitting it and when it's actually in the game environment. All right, so I'll see you at the next session.